Welcome to The Sundering. This is October 3rd, 2017. Uh, our show tonight is brought to you by our lovely ads. Go to our site. Please whitelist us if you have an ad blocker. Click through our links. Add stuff to your cart, especially on Amazon. Check out. It helps us pay server, bandwidth costs, all that good stuff. Uh, tonight, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about BlizzCon. We're going to talk about Calm Before the Storm. We are going to talk about uh, Anger. We'll probably give you a little health update on, on Zia. And let's kick this party off. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Well, let's start the insanity. This is the Sundering Podcast with your host, Seraphis. Self-replicating bacon. I don't like fat chicks cutting my hair because we wouldn't want it to get weird or anything. Rapist. He adds to the show and everyone gets upset. This is great. I know. I, I know they say this, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and Zia. I swear, I'm so full of hate. I'm not sure what a podcast is. A slavery is different than a fish. Well, that didn't work. It automatically tried to play in the next clip. I don't know why it did that. Anyway, so here we are. I'm with Hasu. It really smells, man. Well, Hasu's cat puked, so he's got that yes. going on. It's disgusting. It's like all this yellow, goopy stuff. It's like, ugh. That just sounds terrible. It does. It's, ugh. Don't even look at it. So, let's see. So, it's been a week. Uh, let's give a quick update on Zia. I thought she was going to be here tonight. Um, she's still recovering from her appendix coming out. So... I'm guessing she's doing better. I've talked with her a little bit. She's starting to move around a little bit more. Um, it's probably still too late, uh, or she's out doing something fancy. Either way, that's happening. I uh, hope she I hope she ate her fellow ice cream, man. I mean, she, she should have got like three or four tubs down. I think that's if you get your tonsils out. Oh. Isn't that your tonsils? I think it's your tonsils. Yeah, Useless body part one and two, they're the bloody same. Anyway, I'm joined by our producer, Mr. Hasu. Hasu, how have you been this past week? What's been going on? Uh, not bad, not bad. Things have been pretty mellow. I've been playing a lot of uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, There's a lot of people in uh, our guild, Phalanx of Nod, who were actually talking about this the other day, just saying that they want to play it, but they have not had time to play it. Oh yeah, it's. I've played about fifty hours now, and I'm a good portion of the game, but I've not finished it yet. It's it's really good, it's really fun. The graphics are great. The gameplay is even better, and there's a lot of freedom character building as well. Um, the uh, second one bought a lot of customization options as well. We can choose your race, your background, or even supreme make characters that even spice up even more. Your supreme maker. I am God. Can you have like giant flying spaghetti monster be your creator? Uh, no. But you can uh, be an undead dwarf, swing a giant axe and mosquitoes and skeletons. Well, until they allow me to have a bacon god, uh, I'm not gonna play it. I mean, there's a Dungeons and Dragons like game master mode. We could we could turn your character into a walking bacon. Hmm. I feel like you're just just trying to push it harder on me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. For for me, uh, a lot of um, you know World of Warcraft stuff. I I finally got my paladin all the way through the Argus like initial quest story. Uh, I haven't done any of the dungeons with him, but just kind of getting him through the story to unlock everything. Um, Your paladin rent. Uh, no, holy. Uh, I did I did the questing as Rhett, though. But I took all the artifact power and put it into his holy. I actually found this holy um, appearance, and I'm sure other people have already found it, but it looks like Reinhardt's hammer. It just fell off of, like, a random mob. It's really weird they're using a two-handed hammer, man. No, I think it makes sense. Uh, there's a lot of uh, stories and um, back in Warcraft 3 where they had paladins using two-handed hammers. 
Yeah, but they didn't really strike me as like holy paladins. I mean, basically walking up, smashing people in the face. Well. Yeah. But... Um, let's see. Beyond that, playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm. Um, I'm up to like fifteen thousand gold, trying to figure out what to really spend it on. Um, like part of me wants to buy uh, Kel'Thuzad. Like I'm not necessarily like all that big of a fan of like how Ana plays yet. Uh, but um, I'd save it for Junkrat, man. Yeah, I'm Fun really kind of looking forward to Junkrat. I have like seven hundred and fifty gems uh, stashed, just waiting. Um, to get him, he's probably gonna have a kick-ass skin too. So, I have always thought Junkrat's gonna be a pretty cool character to have in Heroes. So, definitely looking forward to getting him. Um, let's see, other than that, uh, just a lot of con before the storm related stuff. Uh, let's see, meet and greet is going well. I think we're up to twenty-five uh, confirmed uh, attendees for the meet and greet. World of Podcast panels are are going. We actually just opened the Common for the Storm uh, Discord because it's it's an official uh, partner with Discord uh, Hype Squad events. So we have a cool fancy vanity URL for it. So it's a uh, discord.gg slash com before storm. So that could uh, that'll that'll take you right in there, uh, which is which is pretty awesome. And then. Um, so there's a whole bunch of people in there uh, talking about BlizzCon, talking about just introducing themselves. So that is that is a lot of fun going on right there. Uh, and then really just a lot of last minute logistics. So we ran to like a snag with some of the t-shirts for the Kickstarter backers, but uh, I know Zia received them yesterday, which was Monday. So she is working on getting those out into the wild, uh, making sure people get, get their stuff prior to BlizzCon, and um, let's see, that is that is really it, that is it, for, oh, I do want to make mention, uh, our guild, Phalanx and Odd, Dalaran, Alliance side, uh, we did take down uh, Heroic Maiden, so we have been working on Fallen Avatar, and um, actually we took and we took down Fallen Avatar. Just completely blanked on that. We took him down. So we are now on to Heroic Kill Jaden. So we've got that going on for us. You like that raid? Uh, I've actually liked Tomb of Sargeras. Uh, I don't like the running around that you have to do. It's very disjointed. Like The runbacks seem arbitrarily long. Um, and I don't like all the soaking. I like the general theme. I hate Shazine. I hate Sisters of the Moon. I think those are two of the worst conceived bosses ever created. To be perfectly honest. Or some Maiden? Uh, I liked Maiden. I thought Maiden was fun. I think Fallen Avatar is fun. Um, hell, I think the first boss is fun. And uh, I think... Um, and By the way, I'm, I'm thinking about all this from a tanking perspective. Uh, Obviously, so I mean, I'm sure other other players might feel differently about different um, different fights, but for me, I definitely uh, like like all those fights. Uh, Hero kill Jaden. I'm just not looking forward to more soaking. I feel that they Blizzard went all in on this whole soaking mechanic for the bosses on on Tomb of Sargeras, so it's just like really more soaking. Is that what we're going to do? What do you think your character says when you're taunting something? Um, I've got <laughs> bacon. Eh, that to do it. What if they're vegan now? No, my death knight is not vegan. You shut no, your dirty mouth. No, 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 the boss. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't care. It's like, fuck you. This, is, well, this person in the dress looks a lot more attractive than you. Well, no, I mean, the soaking is like, hey, we're going to throw a whole bunch of abilities down on the ground, and if you don't stand in it, like, it's going to wipe the raid. And it's just like, really? That's the mechanic? And it's like, oh, by the way, in Heroic, we're adding more things to soak. Oh, and by the way, here's another fight that has more soaking involved in it. You ever done Mythic? No. Except for when I completely outgear it. 
so we can get the achievements like two two expansions after the fact. I did a mop for a while. It was just a giant pain in the ass. Don't think I'd ever do it again. No. Felling, and I'll say this, Felling Sanad is not a guild who will ever do Mythic. We we just don't need the stress. We, we are, we're, we're a casual raiding guild who enjoys doing heroic level, and we're fine with stopping there. And I'll just say that that's, that's a vast majority of the WoW population they're catering to as well. Mythic's just for those you know people that have WoW well, their, their life, and you know time and life. They think like 40, 80 plus hours in the game a week. Yeah, I I can't imagine like it's just it just seems like a whole whole bunch of stress going on there. So yeah. Um alright, so going on to to some news here, uh Blizzard released the BlizzCon schedule today. So the biggest thing for BlizzCon was that they were releasing uh, they, they were going to expand to the other areas of the Anaheim Convention Center because the Anaheim Convention Center was going through a lot of building and construction to expand and they were going to make use of it and it looks like they have. they have they have obviously halls A, B, C, and D and they have the arena but now there is also a North Hall level 2 and a regular North Hall so uh they are using the and so the probably the best thing about this is they are basically given each game its own area so last year cool. last year heroes was i believe i can't they were sharing a hall with i want to say either hearthstone or overwatch i can't remember now i'm drawing a blank on it but this year like here's the storm has its own hall they are hall b so that will be dedicated to the uh the hgc uh tournament and then hearthstone has like some interesting uh, matches going on in the north hall and then up on level two they got like a mix and match of little things going on um starting off with the opening ceremony which obviously starts at 11 ends at noon uh this is all in pacific time you have like an hour you have about a 30 minute break and then you got World of Warcraft What's Next, which looks like it lasts um, a full hour. hour. And then at the exact same time, you have a StarCraft Two What's Next, which is 45 minutes in the North Hall Level that 2. Sucks. So, that really sucks. So clearly, I'm thinking What's Next for StarCraft Two. Uh, you and I kind of talked before the start of the show, but probably DLC, right? Um, I mean... Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't see another expansion, at least not in, the, not in the same time. I mean, they could potentially put it like 50 to 100 years forward. That way you could still reuse Protoss characters or characters. But um, I'd see the vast majority. Um, the, the thing with DLC is I think they could, you know, expand on like immediate wars, like your border skirmishes, you know, the Taldarim can make a move or... Cigar could feel like testing out the defenses. Yeah, I mean, they definitely set the story for uh, for StarCraft Three. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're probably going to get some DLC. I think your idea of like DLC around like some of like the border skirmishes kind of makes sense. Um, probably you see people just trying to kind of like rein people in, trying to bring some peace to the galaxy here, and um. Or but, they could go extra galactic. Now, the interesting thing is, so the World of Warcraft, what's next, which is an, is a full hour, is after the opening ceremony in, and it's called, in, in Hall D, it's called Main Events. So World of Warcraft, what's next, is in the Main Event Hall. And then after that, from 145 to 230, is the Hearthstone, what's next. And then... Then you have 245 to 345 Overwatch, what's next, all in the main hall. So clearly what this like screams to me is, the, yeah, the, well, the, I mean, Overwatch, I mean, here's uh, Hearthstone, clearly those are two of their main focuses. 
They actually got a World of Warcraft gameplay thing going on then from 4 to 4.45. Then it's not until 5 o'clock where they're doing a Heroes of the Storm, what's next? Well, I mean, we're not we're not expecting anything major from that game. I mean, 2.0 just launched uh, about three, four months ago. Probably just a bunch of heroes, another battleground. I doubt there'll be anything major announced. So one of the things that if you if you click on the schedule for the Here's a Storm, what's next? It says, take a look as we unveil some of the exciting new updates and gameplay changes coming to the Nexus. So, is gameplay changes new characters, new maps, new map types? Or is it, are we going to see like a Nexus 3.0 type system? Um, honestly, I, I think they might just go, um, like, there's a, there's what this called, there's unofficial roles at the moment in Heroes of the Storm. Like, you can split tanks up into two things, like main tanks and like bruisers. And where you have like special, oh, you have like supports, where you have like sustained supports or utility supports. Um, I think honestly, I think the next step is I'm just distinct to just splitting up all the specializations and subcategories. You think? I feel that that would create more confusion to someone new coming into the game. I mean, they still fit under the same general banner. Um, you know, this is a warrior. This guy's meant to take a punch, but on the other hand, this guy's meant to do a bit more damage in this one. I mean, I could see that. Um, now, I will say this, for, for Heroes of the Storm, as long as they don't announce any more orcs, I'm done with the orcs, just announce any new characters you want that are just not orcs. What are you talking about? There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of orcs in this goddamn game. We only have, like, three. Um... Let's see. Uh, something else that was that I I found somewhat interesting is a staple of using the arena at BlizzCon has always been StarCraft, and StarCraft this year got pushed out of the arena to make way for the Overwatch World Cup. I'm not surprised because I last know. last year Overwatch uh, there were queues upon queues of people trying to watch the Overwatch matches. Um, and the StarCraft arena was only half full last year. Do you think Overwatch is going to last? Uh, as of right now, uh, I think so. I think they are making a good bit of money off of it. It has... The fact that they are doing the Overwatch uh, League, where people are ponying up like millions of dollars to buy a team, I mean, clearly it has legs if people see value in it to say, I'm going to plunk down like $25, $30 million to buy a team. Uh, I, I just, I've never been able to get, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like watching people playing, it's just, they have to be entertaining to me. When I'm, when I'm just watching characters running around the map, you know, I get, you know, it's the people that are extremely skilled at the game, and I could never hope to match. Um, but, you know, I want to be entertained at the same time you know these personalities on youtube is uh, what i pay attention to hmm. i think overwatch definitely has legs um i personally have stopped really playing it solo i really only like to play it with other people uh i find that more of an enjoyable experience personally um so I haven't played it as much, whereas here's the storm. I feel like I could just pick up, like play versus AI solo, and, and move on with my day. Whereas Overwatch, like I could easily get frustrated if I'm not playing with somebody and and being able to talk to them and like kind of coordinate with at least one other person, you know. Yeah. But anyway, so Overwatch is taking over the arena, so we have that going on. Uh. So, they also have in like some of the North Hall some like smaller things where they're they're doing like on 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 Friday they're doing All Craft Live, which is apparently is a podcast, which is hosted by someone who works for Blizzard. And apparently it's a video cat like I've never heard of this. They say it's a popular podcast in the little note, but I've never heard of it. And I've talked to a few other people who have never heard of it. But on Saturday Little fun fact, the Instance uh, podcast will be doing a live show there at BlizzCon, but it will be 
at Calm Before the Storm, where the first instance live show will be had at the pre-party for Calm Before the Storm. So we get the instance first. But I'm sure the instance will have plenty to talk about on day two of BlizzCon after they make all their crazy announcements. Um, new WoW expansion. New what? New WoW expansion. Yep. I guarantee that's probably what they're going to be talking about. That's 90% what they're talking about. Yep. Especially if it's... Uh... I mean, it's just throw it on the table. What do you think? It's obviously going to be old god themed. I don't. Have you saw some of the leaks from? I've uh, seen some of the leaks. It's going to be old god. We're going to be focusing on Azeroth, but I think it's going to build up to the thing where we are going to be going up against the. Uh, we're like Ashara is going to be. Who we're going to have to take down next because she's just a big pain in the ass. Naga, old gods. Yep. Um. I, I I'm you know I, I really wanted the South Seas expansion for a long time, you know, cool terras. Uh, and or, what what do you think? Uh, what playable race do you think? Do you think it's gonna be Naga, Murloc, it's or it's not gonna think... be? It's not gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be Naga or Murloc. I think what they're going to to do is they're going to give some additional customization elements to races. existing races. So like. You're going to be able to maybe do some of the, um, um, oh, completely blanking. Like, um, like brown or like brown orcs for, or, uh, for, uh, orcs. They could do half elves for humans. Um, they could do maybe like leaper gnomes or dark iron dwarves and wild hammer. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, and, and even for like a little bit more splitting up of like the night elves and, and whatnot, I think we're going to see some of that and, like the highborn yeah we're gonna see more of the highborn clearly i i mean they're already kind of bringing them in with the mages but um oh my god i'm completely blanking on the name of these like purple um elves in suramar highborn yeah sure them um so so yes, yeah, so we we've got we've got that. Um... See, I, I'd like that honestly. If if they if they start adding the sub races, that you know the gym they exist in lore because there are half elves. You know, dwarves consist of three different clans. You've got regular orcs joining the joining the uncorrupted orcs joining the horde. Um, you could have different tribes of. Actually, I don't know what they do for trolls. That'd I'm not sure what they do for. The Forsaken. I mean, maybe they could probably do like um, banshees and. No, no. Uh, there, there's more than undead humans. There's undead elves, uh, different races under uh, the Forsaken, not just undead humans. Um, go playing an undead elf. Hey? I do hope that in the next expansion, one, they fix uh, professions because I feel that they broke them in Legion. Uh, Professions just feel like junk. I don't want to do them. They feel grindy, very RNG. Do you do you do you actually care about what they did? Like um, each each like each profession gets a certain perk. You know, it's like oh, uh, joke crafters put like an extra socket here. I mean, I used um, to like that. Enchanters yeah. get unique enchants. I kind of like that. You know, even though it created some. You know, it's, oh, I have to have this and this. You know, people always get the best available. I, I kind of like, you know, just working towards this unique reward that only my profession gets. Um, yeah, I hope they fix professions. And I'm still going to ask for it. I want guild airships, which is the form of guild housing. They need uh... a. Like, look, they 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 did the whole class halls. Clearly, they have the technology to do it. If they could do it for different classes to go and go into an instance version of their little place, they could do a guild airship for me. I mean, uh, if we're going South Seas, man, wouldn't you prefer like a giant ass battleship? Wouldn't that be kick ass? No, because the guild airship could then transcend different expansions. Bring it with us. Well, I, I just don't think it, you know, match. I mean, how, how the hell are you going to take it across the Twisting Nether you know, if we go to another damn planet? Oh, please. They'll just teleport it. Teleport it. That's <laughs> a lot of our power range, man. Yeah, no, no. They we, they got the stone. They get moral to get to fucking uh, Draenor. No, they used the stone to kind of bring everything closer. So Argus came, became really close, and there's a portal that, like, 
then they just kind of like that was like, Illidan. Their <laughs> freaking alliance and horde aren't gonna mess with that shit. Eh, they might. Cadgar might be get a little crazy. Uh, yeah, could be. Um, so I'm still holding out hope for guild airships. Jane Maybe is on we... the poster for uh, World of Warcraft, so that says something too. Well, I mean, the South Seas were her home, so... Kulturas, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been so quiet for a little while. I think that is really about it from a BlizzCon news standpoint. Oh, uh, our, our any, of the channel. Any, any choice, any thoughts regarding um, uh, Closing Band? Before we uh, part? <laughs> Who do I want? Well, it's not uh, who you want. Who do you think it's going to be? One Republic. Uh, I'm going to go with Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ah, no. Their tour does end right before BlizzCon. Which yeah. means they will be there. Like I said, it's not necessarily about who you want. It's about who they're going to get. And Blizzard is notorious for going after rock bands. Well, uh, that pretty much shows that one Republican. <laughs> yeah. So. I, know, I think it's a pretty solid lineup. You know, I'm expecting some exciting things and not so exciting things. Um, I, I just hope for something big. You know, I'd, I'd really appreciate Like, if they just throw me a curveball and toss another you know, StarCraft 2 expansion or yeah, yeah, StarCraft 3. Because there's nothing about non World of Warcraft here in Warcraft, so no Warcraft four. What if they announced like an Overwatch single player campaign? Uh because let's be honest, they dabbled in it with the PvE thing for when you kinda went back in time and you ran against and you fought against the Omnics. I think it could work. It's just what would they do it in the current thing without messing up, you know, there's two factions running for control, right? Would they fight against each other, or would they fight against the aliens again? We will see. We will see, but... Uh, I think maybe that might be something that they may drop on us like that. Because I mean, remember... It'd, it'd be cool playing in the past against the aliens. Because remember, Overwatch was what they saved from their Titan project. The PvP was the only thing that was, like, good. The world they created for Titan was Overwatch. The... Yeah, it's such a shame, man. I think the the, the characters the, in in the PvP, but it just it got too big and they couldn't salvage it. So I think that we still may see a single player mode uh, as DLC for Overwatch in the future. Could you imagine how epic that game would have been? I don't know how epic it would have been, but clearly they stopped it because they're like, "This is not fun. This is not happening anytime soon." So. Yeah, the, the technology might not have been where they wanted. Or they just tackled something way too big. They they probably tried to boil the ocean. They probably should have... And, and maybe that's what they're doing. They're like, look, the PvP thing, it's working. Let's, let's bundle that. Let's create it. Let's finish building the world of Overwatch. Let's get people hyped about the world, the lore of it. And then we'll slowly start adding on. I mean, let's face it, that's kind of what they did with Warcraft. They started off with the RTS games. And they and then they finally built up into the MMO. And so maybe that's what they need to do with Overwatch, is they've got to slowly oh. build it up. I mean, they, they built Warcraft over a freaking decade, though. Yeah, but, I mean, Overwatch is what? Is it two years now? Two years, right? Yeah, about two years old. So... I mean, they're doing a good job. They're making digital comics. They're making, you know, you know, all these digital stories and videos to accompany Overwatch and introducing more and more story as we go along. So, I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's viable that they they maybe keep on expanding the game and kind of, you know, kind of attaching more parts and game features out there. I do think I do think they need to like pers more personalize like backstory for each character because there's some we just don't know much about at all no i think they're slowly getting to some of them um yeah i mean you know i've got some movies for 
some of them, but um, you know, there are a lot of. Oh, don't you go yawning on me, sir. Don't you dare pull us Oh, it still smells, man. What, the cat puke? <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, I'm, I'm guessing that is probably your fof. You know, I haven't heard the fof bumper in a while. I'm going to play it. Or not. No. Go on. Fuck you, 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 fuck I'll get better, I promise. New soundboard, technology, terrible at it already. Um, all right, so Fof, what do you, do you got anything other than your cat puke? Oh, come on, man. You just stole my thunder. <laughs> We'd be complaining about God, the cat it's puke like, hey, 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 yeah, but I didn't say Fof to it. God damn it. Hey, I'll just bring up something I'm pissed off about. Oh, God. Um, yeah. Uh, 2K Games announced today that... Uh, uh, basically everything in uh, WWE 2K18. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. Um, it's gonna be locked pretty much behind a fucking grinding wall. Basically behind a giant grind, or a paywall, and that is fucking horrendous. And it's just completely and utterly stupid. Instead of you know, the the game's been known of having one of the best creation suites. Um, basically in the industry, because you can literally create some of the most fantastic characters. But they're literally locking parts and um, moves and music behind a fucking grind or a paywall now, and it's just absurd. So, fuck you, 2K Games. It's bullshit. It, pe you piss people off with NBA 2K18, now you're pissing off wrestling fans. So, fuck you. Well, so I got two files. One to, what is it, CBS, who's doing like a paywall thing with Star Trek Discovery, where you get to get their app, and then you have to like subscribe to it for like, what was it, like $15 a month? Just to get like this one show. I'm like, look, I like Star Trek. I like Star what Wars. What the fuck else like, is on there anyway? But nothing. Nothing that I could even fathom wanting to, to watch. So you know what? Fuck them. I'm not doing Why it. Why didn't they put it on fucking Netflix? Jesus Christ. It's like, who the fuck? I, haven't, I didn't even hear about that fucking thing before it came on. Anyway, so, so fuck CBS. Uh, also, fuck this one person at work who was talking about uh, a document on a call. And I said, can you send out this document? And they're like, oh, yeah. They never did. And they just kept talking about it. And then you had people, like, drawing on the board. And no one could see anything. And we're just like, "There's." it's like a conference call. It's just like, what? what is happening? Do, do you, you people not know how this works? So, fuck all those people. That was just absolutely ridiculous. And, um, and I, I will say, uh, fuck off to everything that I need to do in the next 30 days for Comfort Storm. And work, uh, and home because like last night I just could not sleep. I almost didn't do the show tonight because I only got three hours. But I decided I want to power through a show and then I am going to go to bed. So fuck off to not being able to sleep last night because my brain was going a mile a minute. Did you actually get any? Huh? Did you actually get any sleep? Uh, three hours. Three hours of sleep last night. Oh, dude, I fucking hate that. It's almost worse than getting no sleep. Yeah. Uh, so that that is that is all that I've got. So Hasu, where uh, where can people find you? Ne uh, next list cat puke for the next ten minutes, trying to clean it up because it's fucking horrible. But uh, otherwise, you could find me on Twitter uh, at Mister Underscore Hasu H A S U. All right, you can find me on Twitter at Seraphis. You can find Zia on Twitter at I T S X I A. It's Zia. Uh, the show, you can find all of our information over at thesundering.net, including our YouTube, Twitch, um, got Twitter, and Facebook, and all the things. Don't leave my fucking cat either, it's my sister's. We're not going to find, you're not going to find Hasu's sister's cat either, 
That that will not be yeah, on there. I, I I can make it a Twitter profile. Jesus. Post a picture of it. There there is I forgot there is there is someone who has who set up a Raspberry Pi with a camera that watches their cat come leave and come back to the house. So like whenever it like leaves the house through the like the little like pet door, like it automatically tweets out like like Mr. Jingles has left the house. And when the cat comes back it says Mr. Jingles has returned to the house. And then there's another and there's another one where it takes a picture of a cat taking a crap in the litter box. <laughs> I don't want to see that. God damn it. So, so there's there's some people doing weird stuff with raspberry pies. Anyway, all right, so that is the show. All right. Later, folks. Bye. Shit, I could have made a fucking better episode. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.